Hello guys, this is Karthik from ExecuteAutomation.com and this is part 14 of our BDD video series. And in this part, we're going to talk about step argument transformation. Before watching this part, I would request you to watch part 13 since this part is going to be a continuation of that part. Argument conversion or argument transformations. In SpecFlow, the argument transformations are done effortlessly by itself from a feature to step definitions. If we create a step with integer value, then the spec flow will deal with it automatically. Similarly, spec flow deals with some of these steps which has tables, strings, and Boolean conversions automatically. So how to deal with a custom argument which spec flow does not support out of the box? So there comes step argument transformation feature of spec flow which can be used to apply a custom conversion step for the argument of the step definition. The step argument transformation is a method that provides a conversion from text specified by a regular expression or from a table instance to an arbitrary .NET type. So the step argument transformation can be achieved by the following rules. So the rules are the return type of the transformation is the same as the parameter type. The regular expression is matching to the original argument. If there are multiple matching transformations available, a warning is provided in the trace and the first transformation is used. So in order for a deep understanding, let's flip to Visual Studio and see that in action. So in this project, I have created a very simple scenario and it has the same feature which we discussed in part 12. It has a scenario like this. Given I have opened an application and I log into the application as admin, then I see the last date logged in data is five days from the current date. Of course, this kind of scenario is never going to happen in a real time scenario, but for our understanding purpose, I have created this. All right, so let's see what is this, what is there in this particular step. So if I go to this particular definition, you can see that we have a method with int type and that is the parameter. So as you can see, the step definition is automatically taking int type since we have a integer value in here. Similarly, if we had a string type in here, then automatically the step definition will have a string parameter. So this is a automatic argument transformation happening in spec flow. But for a custom type, something like date and time or some of the .NET's arbitrary types, we cannot do that using the argument transformation. But there is a feature called step argument transformations which can do that thing for us. So what if my scenario is this? If I want to add five days from the current date, then my code will be something like this. For correct date is equal to date time dot today dot add days of P0. So P0 is nothing but the value which we are passing from an integer. And now if I add a console dot write line and if I see the correct date, and if I try to run this particular step definition, this particular scenario, then you can see the output will have 19 as the date. But today is 14 and it is 19, which is automatically five days added for us. And what if this kind of step is going to come across all of your project and you want to use that instead of converting that every time something like this. So for that, what I'm going to do is we're going to use something called as step argument transformation, because if we try to use date and time as an argument here, and if we try to convert that, we will surely end up in a problem because date and time is currently not supported in spec flow out of the box. So let me just comment this code and let me try to run this and you will see there will be a error as shown here. It says that the string was not recognized as a valid date and time. So it thinks that the five as a string 
and it cannot be converted. So this means that the date and time is currently not supported by specflow out of the box. So for dealing with this kind of situation, we're going to create a custom step argument transformation. So for doing that, I'm just going to create a simple class and I'm going to give this a name as custom argument transformation or custom step transformer. And I think I've given the CS as well. Okay, and let's change this to public and add bindings attribute. Okay, and here I'm going to add a very simple transformation. So as we said in the rules, we have to have the return type of this particular method as same as we are passing in the argument. So the return type is date and time, and we have to give a name for this particular method. Let's call this transformer as adder or something like that. Day adder transformer. And here I'm going to add the date and time. Sorry, we can add this as integer and let's pass the days here. And here we also need to add a step argument transformations. And what should be the value here? That's important. So for that, let's go to the step. And as you can see here, it says like five days from the current date. So instead of this, I'm going to change the regular expression, something like this. If I save this and if I go to the feature, now you can see the complete argument has been taken care. And I'm just going to copy this line. And if I come to this step definition, and you can see here, it expects me to pass a regular expression. So for that, I'm just going to pass something like this. And I'm just adding a simple regular expression. And let me delete this value. And also this bracket, all right. And here, I'm just going to return the date and time return data time dot today dot add days of days that's it so this is my custom transformer so I'm just going to save this code here and this time instead of doing all these things I'm just going to delete this and I'm just going to put the correct date and this one, let's change this to correct date time, something like this. All right, so let's put a breakpoint in this particular code, save it. And this time, if I try to debug this, the one which was throwing an exception earlier will not happen this time, hopefully. So now our breakpoint should hit here in this particular custom argument transformation. And you can see that the breakpoint is sitting here and the date is five. And now let's create a breakpoint in this particular line. And if I do a F5 or continue, you can see that our breakpoint is coming here. And this time the correct date time is 10 19 2015 so five days is again added automatically so here the transformation is automatically happening for us so this is a great example of step argument transformation which is happening automatically in our spec flow so there is one more example i can deal with but for understanding that particular example you also need to understand the tables which we discussed in our part 7 and part 10 of our video series so you need to go through these two videos before watching this particular video so we'll talk about the automatic conversion of tables and dynamic tables in next video of this video series so this will leverage the power of our step argument transformation as well so thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day